Same with Romeo and Juliet. They were compelled to love each other, even though everybody said it was wrong. But you can't choose who you fall in love with. They didn't need to kill themselves over it. But the only thing they ever wanted was to be together. They passionately believed in what they had. This was their ultimate dream. They would have got over it. They wanted to do things their own way. But the more they were forbidden, the more they wanted to fight for it. Have you never felt the urge to rebel? This page is class are just reading the text. There's plenty of time for that. I'm only saying that... All right, all right. There must be something you've always wanted, something you've dreamed of with passion that nobody could ever take away from you, something you'd sacrifice everything for. All right. I would quite like to play for Bristol City. Oh. You are one very sad individual. How about owning Man United? Oh. Yeah, all right, all right. I'd quite like to have sex with Ryan Giggs, please. That's more like it. And I'll throw in the whole of the first team, seeing as you ask so nicely. <laughs> Can I interest anyone in the Australian Women's Beach Volleyball Squad? <laughs> I want you to be headmaster. In fact, I want to be you, Simon. You are the best teacher ever. Much better than that frigid teaching machine next door. Mind you, she has got a nice ass. <laughs> Only my class is finding it too easy to concentrate. Oh, man, I'm fucking sorry. Don't need to rush. Oh, slow down. All right, sir, thank you. Do you think you could undermine me a little bit more in front of my class? Only I don't feel enough of a twat yet. Grow up, Simon. Oh, and if by any chance you happen to know where Shakespeare's head is, I'd like it back, please. It's not too much trouble. She definitely knows. Who knows what? Jenny. She knows it was us. Well, me, and she's power mad and she hates me, and now she's going to get me sacked. What we did was childish. It was hardly a sackable offence. Look, if you like, I'll go and apologise to her for all of us. No, because then she really will know it was me and she'll hold it over me for the rest of my life. You know what she's like. What is your obsession with Jenny? <laughs> I'm not obsessed. She's obsessed with me. That's pub. Somebody call for me. My dad's got a client coming around. He wants to impress, so I said I cook dinner for him. And that's going to impress. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll come for one. I'm just wondering why Teddy Randall left school early. Uh, I think he said he had an urgent orthodontal appointment. Mm. Make sure Liz gets his slip. Why do you have to lie all the time? <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but your leader wishes it to be known she's moving your directive time to end of every Friday from now on. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm only the messenger. This has got kids. Does that mean you fancy her? Your serve, quick. Oh, no way, not now. You have to, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jenny. Sake. Simon wants you. Uh, <coughs> we're all going to the pub. Do you fancy one? That would be lovely, but right now I'd rather nail my own head to the table. Fair enough. Put it down, please! Got a puncture. Is that the best you can do? Yeah. Please drop his sister. Thanks. Of course. I won't be able to turn a blind eye to this sort of thing after Wednesday. Right, right. Am I supposed to know what you're on about? If I get the job. What job? For head of year. It's going to be quite useful being in the classroom next door to you. I'll be able to keep an eye on you. Broken. 
it, it was so. Try again, Solomon. All right, I switched it off and went back to sleep. Result. Give us your cash. You ran a sweepstake on me. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't let me down. I don't suppose anyone took registration, did they? As a matter of fact, I did. Good stuff. Right. To make up for being late, we're going to do something different. Like work? Give that man a cigar. A written test on what we've covered so far in Of Mice and Men. Yes! List five of George's positive qualities. Is George scared of Jenny? Lenny. You said Jenny. Just testing. Sir? What? When you say describe Curly's wife's dream, do you mean metaphorically? Or literally, because, you know, if you want us to use symbolism... Jeremy, it's a test. I'm not allowed to help you. <laughs> Sex! Sorry, honey, I thought you'd fallen into a coma. Ah, that's enough fun for one day. Wasn't too painful, was it? No, I really enjoyed that. Are you being ironic? No, I mean it. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Have been your Markham? Probably not. 